Good afternoon, all. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Last class we discussed the word problems related to addition, and also we know how to add the one-digit numbers and also the two-digit numbers. And today we are going to take another topic that is addition of three one-digit numbers. Sometimes we have to add three one-digit numbers in our day-to-day -day life. Now, I will give you one example. Please Hi. listen. Okay. No need to write now. Listen here. Let me share the screen. I have, I have two oranges with me. Okay. I have two oranges. No need to write, please listen. Then I also have three apples. Also, I have four bananas. I have two oranges, the apples, four bananas. Now, what is the total number of fruits with me? What is the total number of fruits with me? Nine. Yes, nine, Eric Saji. Very good. See, I have two oranges, three apples, four bananas. So if I want to know how many fruits are there with me, I should add all the numbers, all the one-digit numbers. That means two plus three plus four. So here we are adding three one-digit numbers. Two is a one-digit number, three is a one-digit number, four is also a one-digit number. So how we will add three one-digit numbers? The step is we will add the first two numbers. We will add the first two numbers. Riddhaparna, listen here. 2 plus 3. So when we add 2 plus 3, we will get the answer 5. Then with the sum, we will add the third number. That is 4. 5 plus 4. So when we add 5 plus 4, we will get the answer 9. 5 in the mind, 4 on the fingers. So after 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I have 9 fruits with me. So some situations, in some situations, we have to add 3 numbers. 3 one-digit numbers. So that time, we have to add the first two numbers. Then we will get the sum. With that sum, we will add the third number. So we will get the total number of objects. Now let us see some more examples. And here we have 2 plus 4 plus 5. 2 is a one digit number. 4 is also a one digit number. 5 is also a one digit number. So we have to add three one digit numbers. So we will add first the first two numbers. The first two numbers are 2 and 4. So let's add these two numbers first. 2 plus 4. So 4 in the mind, 2 on the fingers. 4 in the mind, 2 on the fingers. So we will get the answer 5, 6. So the answer is 6. So we get the sum of 6. Then we will add the third number. So 6 plus Five. Seven. So six in the mind, five on the fingers. Six in the mind, five on the fingers. So after six, seven, seven. eight, seven. nine, seven. ten, eleven. So the seven. answer is eleven. The answer is eleven. So let us see one more example. 
Let us see one more example. 4 plus 3 plus 5. 4 is a one digit number. 3 is also a one digit number. 5 is also a one digit number. We are adding 3 one digit numbers. So let's add the first two numbers. Seven. So when we add 4 and 3, 4 in the mind, 3 on the fingers. What's the answer, Mr. 4 plus 3? 4 plus 3. Seven. What's the answer? 7. So we get the answer 7. Then what we will do next? We will add the third number, that is 5. That we will add with the 7. So 7 plus 5. 7 in the mind, 5 on the fingers. Aiden, what is 7 plus 5? 7 in the mind, 5 on the fingers. After 7? Huh? Aiden? 7 plus 5? 12. Yes, so after 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So the answer is 12. So this is the way we are adding three one digit numbers. Is it clear how we are adding the three one digit numbers? Yes. So let's write in the notebook. Yep. Take notebook, take a fresh pitch. Take notebook, take a fresh pitch. Ma'am, write. Yes, we are going to write. Let me share the screen. Take a fresh page and at the top you can write addition of addition of Ma'am. Three one digit numbers. Addition of three one digit numbers. And you, ma'am, finish. Not finished. We just started only, my dear. A D D I T I O N addition of T H R E E three one digit D I G I T digit numbers N U M B E R S One digit numbers. Ma'am, is a number number spelling N U M M B B E M R uh, yes. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Let's write one example. Yes. So here we have the first one. And the question is 3 plus 5 plus 7. 3 plus 5 plus 7. 
Ma'am, we need to write. Yes, yes, you have to write. So what is the first step? You will add the first two numbers. Man is number spelling N U M B E R S. Ma'am? Yes? Number, uh, number. No. So let's write the answer. So let's write once again these numbers. Once again we can write the numbers. That means 3 plus 5 plus 7. Now let's add the first two numbers. These two numbers. So 3 plus 5. Aisha, what's the answer? 3 plus 5. Five in the mind, three on the fingers. Six, seven, eight. Eight. So we will get the answer eight. Now we will add the third number. That means eight plus seven. Eight in the mind, seven on the fingers. So what's the answer? Joanna Rose, eight plus seven. What's the answer? Yes, eight, eight in the mind, seven on the fingers. What's the answer, Joanna Rose? Yes, after eight. Uh, yes, 15. Eight, answer is uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15. Very good. The answer is 15. Eight plus seven is equal to 15. We will add the first two numbers. So here we have 3 plus 5 plus 7. So we will add the first two numbers. 3 plus 5, that is equal to 8. Then we will add the third number. That means 8 plus 7. So the answer is 15. All of you have completed the first one. Let's move to B. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So the question is B. The question is 4 plus 3 plus 5. Do it. 4 plus 3 plus 5. So here we can see 4 plus 3 plus 5. So we have to add the first two numbers. Badrinath, you got the answer. 4 plus 3. 4 in the mind, 3 on the fingers. 4 plus 3. 4 in the mind, 3 on the fingers. What's the answer, Badrinath? 4 plus 3. 
4 plus 3. What's the answer? Either what's the answer? Four plus three. Four plus three. Ah, the answer is seven. So let's write the answer. So once again, we can write the question. Four plus three plus five. Four plus three plus five. So let's add the first two numbers. So four plus three is equal to seven. And we will add the number 5. Now, 7 plus 5. 7 plus 5. So, 7 in the mind, 5 on the fingers. Ah, what's the answer? 7. Anna, what's the answer? 7 plus 5? 7 plus 5. Ah, the answer is 12. 7 in the mind. Five on the fingers. So after seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So the answer is twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Four plus three plus five. Four plus three is equal to seven, and seven plus five is equal to twelve. Ah, one more question. Okay, so C and C we have four plus six plus five. Do it. Four plus six plus five. Please, please, new to device. Four plus six plus five. Mama, I cannot see the board. not what are you doing there? Are you writing in the notebook? Mama, I cannot see the board. You are facing the network issue, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Network issue, that's why. Okay, ma'am. I will send the notes in the group after the class. Or you just wait for a few seconds. It may come. Did you write the second one, B? Okay, now I will tell the question C. 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6. 4 plus 6 plus 5. Question C, you are asking. Jennifer? Which question? Is it a C? No, D. No, D. Up to C only today. Okay. So, did you complete the answer? 4 plus 6 plus 5? Yes. Jennifer? Yes. yes. 15. Yes, the answer is 15. Very good. Ma'am? Yes, Jennifer? Uh. Option I option C Option C. If it is I, there will be dot no, my dear. Option C. Op, not option, question C. 4 plus 6 plus 5.
So yeah. let's write the answer. So once again, we can write the question. 4 plus 6 plus 5. The first two numbers are 4 and 6. Dhyan Madhu, what about the 4 and 6? What's the answer? 4 plus 6. 6 in the mind, 4 on the fingers. What's the answer? 4 plus 6. Dhyan? 10. 10. 6 in the mind, 4 on the fingers. So after 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we will get the answer 10. Now 10 plus 5. Adhya, what is 10 plus 5? 10 in the mind, 5 on the fingers. 10 in the mind, 5 on the fingers. So after 10? 15. Yes. 11. 11. Uh. 12. Uh. 14, 15. Ah, very good. The answer is 15. So 10 plus 5 is equal to 15. So those who have completed can close your notebook and please take workbook part one. Those who have completed, please take workbook part one. Page number? Page number 20. Page number 20. Act two or act one. Same page you can see on the screen also. No mathematics textbook part one. Max workbook part Max one. Number. Mathematics workbook part one. Page Max. number twenty. Max. Page number 20. Yes. Yes, it's the same page. Ma'am. Now you'll share the screen. The Ma same Ma page you can see on the screen number. also. Ma'am. Ma page number. Page number 20. Ma'am, that name is 020. 2020. And here we have the multiple choice questions. So let's start. Which book? Workbook part one. Page number 20. Workbook part one, page number 20. And here we have multiple choice questions. And here we have the first one. Gayatri, it's textbook. I asked workbook. The first one. Count and choose the correct number of leaves. You can see the leaves there. Mr. Maria, what is the total number of leaves? Is it A5, B3, C4, G6? Which one? A5. So please put a tick mark for option A5. Write capital letter A inside the bracket. I think it's very simple. Don't worry.
Let's move to two. Here we can see the number of bows is dash. How many are there? Is it option A nine, option B five, option C three, option D six? Ivania Rose, tell me the answer. Which is the correct option? Question number two. Option B. Yes, option B. Write capital letter B inside the brackets. Mahadev. Look at the question number three. Count and choose the correct number of tomatoes. How many are there? Is it option A, nine? Option B, six? Option C, three? Option D, one? Which one is the correct answer, my dear? How many are there? Three. Ah, option C, three. So you can write capital letters C inside the brackets. Now, Jewel Maria Joyson, please listen. Okay, it's for you. Question number four. You can see the butterflies. How many butterflies are there be before a uh, plus symbol? Four. Four, yes. After the plus symbol, how many are there? Three. So what is the total number of butterflies? Is okay. it A, seven, B, eight, C, nine, D, ten? Seven. Yes, option A, seven. Option A, seven. Now, those who have completed, you can take a page number 21. Ma'am, yes. option seven, tick mark it now. Talk in English, first of all. Option A7, you can put a tick mark and you can write capital letter A inside the bracket. Now let's move to page number 21. And here we have question number five. Asiya, what about question number five? How many tigers are there? Uh, here you can see two. Here you can see four. So what, which is the correct option? Is it option A, three? Option B, six? Option C, zero? Option D, four? Six. Yes, option B, six. Write cap letter B inside the bracket. Sam, what about the next one, sixth one? You can see the elephants. How many are there before the plus symbol? Two plus ah, three. Two plus three. So which is the correct option? Option A, five. Option B, six. Option C, ten. Option D, eight. Five. Sam, how many elephants are there? Five. 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 Option A, five. Five. Lisa Maria, please unmute and tell me the next one. Are you remembering the bundles of tens and ones? Yes. yes. So how many bundles you can see before the plus symbol? Two. two. So two tens means what's the number? Two tens means? Twenty. Twenty, yes. So here it is twenty. Then you can see the ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So 20 plus 6, what's the answer is uh, 20 26. plus 6? Yes, 20 it's 26. Six. Very good. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, my dear. 26. 26. 20 plus 6, 26. Now, next we have question number 8. And here we have the numbers on a number line are written at a dash basis. Adhika, what's the answer? The numbers on a number line are written at a dash basis. Is it equal or unequal? Adhika? Yes, ma'am. Is it equal or unequal? 
equal equal very good so let's write the answer e q u a l equal the numbers on a number line are marked or written at equal spaces keeping equal spaces between the numbers e q u a l equal now all the direction tell me the next one the sum of 9 and 0 what's the answer 9 and 0 alrich or 9 plus 0 no 9 plus 0 what's the answer alrich 9 plus 0 is 9 Nine. 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 Okay, okay, nine. Then we have very short answer questions. Question number ten, and here we have show five plus four on the number line. Are you remembering the number line? We are adding the numbers on a number line. Jaha is five plus four, so we have to mark which number on the number line. The first number is five, so we have to mark the number five on the number line. Then five plus four, so how many gems? How many gems? Four gems. Four gems. One, two, three, four. So where we reach? Which number? Where we reach? Which number? Nine. Nine. So five plus four is equal to nine. So please do it. Five plus four is equal to nine. Finish. Okay. So those who have completed, you can do eleven. Question number eleven. Show three plus three on the number line. The same method. So you can mark the number three on the number line. You can jump three times towards right side. One, two, three. So we will reach the number six. So three plus three is equal to six. The remaining questions, question number twelve onwards, we will do in the next class on Monday. Ma'am, finish. Okay, good. Ma. Finish. Finish, ma'am. Ma'am, finish. So I'm going to uh, winding up the session. This next page, we will do it in the next class. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, ma'am.